So I have been behind the news a little bit because I didn't know what to post. But Hamza Chemaev, in this video, I'm going to make an MMA news reaction of Hamza Chemaev wanting to go to 185 and most likely will go to 185. And I'm going to do early predictions for Derek Lewis versus Sergey Pavlovich. Not Sergey Pavlovich, Sergey Spivak. A different Sergey. And yeah, um, not Pavlovich, P uh, Spivak. God, Lewis fighting so many Sergeys. But, um, and I'll do other early predictions. But starting with Chemaya wanting to go to 185. Terrible. Absolutely terrible, in my opinion. I mean, this is a huge. In my opinion, Chemaya is gonna. I think this is gonna backfire on him. But stay at 170. For the love of God, please stay at 170. I mean,. I understand he may want to go 185. There's tougher fights there. There's great fights there. He can maybe beat Adesanya. Maybe can beat Alex Pereira. I mean, I think he can both. I think he can win both of those fights, Pereira and Adesanya fight. But everyone else is a bit of a challenge for him. But Pereira on the Pereira and Adesanya are both both of them individually. Both of them are kind of easy fights for Chimaev in my in my opinion. Chimaev, I understand he could take the cost to fight, but he most likely will lose. Let's be real. He most likely will lose, and it's a risky fight. Go stay at 170. We need you to build yourself at 170. You just didn't waste. Don't tell me you wasted Kevin Holland for nothing. You know? I mean, Holland retired, apparently. I'll talk about that as well. But, um... Yeah, Chemayev, like, you finished Holland, who could have, who was on a streak himself at the time as well. You just finished him and ruined him. Now you're just going to move up a weight class. One fight away from a title shot. Just beat Covington. You could do you versus Covington. Co-main event of a pay-per-view. Maybe not main event, because maybe they don't really trust Chemayev because from the weight, uh, from the weight miss from last time, but... Just stay at 170. You beat Covington. That's a title shot. Winner of Usman, Ed Winner of Usman Edwards in a trilogy fights you. If you beat Covington. You know? You beat Burns. Don't tell me you wasted Burns for nothing. You know? Like, use that for your advantage. Don't just move up a different total weight class to fighting when you since just to fight Kevin Holland. To Paulo Costa, let's just, say, let's just say. And he'll probably fight Costa. There's nobody else he'll fight. I mean, I'll go to the rankings, I guess. I mean, he's not going to fight Whitaker. He's not, he can't get the winner of Adesanya Pereira. Because if Adesanya wins, maybe. If Pereira wins, they're going to do a rematch. But I don't think he can just jump right in there. So he won't fight Whitaker. Could fight Kennedy, but Kennedy was fighting Strickland. So that can't happen. Maybe the winner. But... But he trains with Strickland. So maybe Kananir would be a good fight. But he ain't going to fight Vittori. He ain't going to fight Brunson. He can fight Costa. Or Hermanson. He might fight Hermanson. He won't fight Till. But he's going to fight Costa. They're going to make that fight. And it's going to backfire on Tremayev, man. It's going to backfire. 170. You should stay at, man. I don't like this. You're number three. Don't waste that. It's like when I just worked myself up a weight class. and If I worked myself in a weight class. Oh, I'm number three. Oh, let's just move up. And fight um, a middleweight contender. Like, no. Finish what you're doing. Fight Covington. Fight the winner of Usman Edwards. Then move up. You know? I don't like that from Chimaev, man. But whatever he does, it'll be fun. It's just annoying, though. Because I want to see him good. I want to see him do good. I want to see him having. I want to see him before. I want to see him against the test. Edwards' fight is a test. Usman' fight is a test. Coming to fight, not really, but he still. It's quite a test. It's still Covington. But um, yeah. Move um. Stay at one seventy. Finish your job. Fight Covington in December, and go back in like in May, June, July area. Fight Edward Zeusman winner because Edward Zeusman will probably fight in February, maybe May. The uh, Chimaev, if he fights in if he fights if Chimaev fights coming in December, Usman Edwards fight in February. 
winner can winner if Shemaya beats Colby, winner Usman Edward versus Shemaya versus uh in uh not versus in May, April. You know? And then move to one eighty five. If you do good there and you win the belt. But yeah. It's just annoying from Jemaya, Mom. I just wanted to give an update there. But moving on to another topic though, which is this is more of an interesting one. I know this was I I added a cu- I had a catch up on that. Um, what is it? UFC November nineteenth, UFC Apex, Derek Lewis versus Sergey Spivak is headline to headline UFC fight night. Not the best main event. Let's be real. I mean, this is a great fight though. I mean, Derek Lewis. I mean, I mean where is Sergey Spivak ranked? Right now, where is he ranked? Um, Spivak is ranked twelve, and Lewis is ranked number seven. Lewis still fighting the wolves. I mean, Sergey Pavlovich, he just got fed to, and Pavlovich ended him round one. This is actually winnable for Lewis. I, I think Spivak's just too strong, though, man. I think he's too strong with the grappling. I didn't think he was just going to out-grapple Sakai like that. And he just did. His strength's different level. He finished Hardy easily, but that it's Hardy. Let's be real. But no one just smashes Hardy on the ground like that. Literally. You know? So, Lewis Spivak's just a, a beast. But, again, he, he did get put away by Tom Aspinall. And I know it's Tom Aspinall, but... I don't know, man. This is a winnable fight for Lewis, in my opinion. Winnable. If he's an under, if he's an underdog, I'm taking it. But it's 50 50, 70, 70 to 40, maybe 60 to 40 percent in favor of Spivak here. I think he's gonna use some grappling here on Derek Lewis, but I don't know, man. This is really a winnable fight for. Uh, he did get put away by Walt Harris. Lewis can win this, man. Lewis can actually go out there and just win, but I just don't trust Lewis. I think he's going to be worried early on about the big shots. I think he'll be ready to throw some counters. Shoot, Spivak shoots a takedown. He's 27. It's his time now, in my opinion. And yeah, out grappled Olenek, destroyed Vandera, beat Felipe. Dude's legit, man. Destroyed Hardy. Destroyed Sakai. I think he's going to beat Derek Lewis here as well. Rene could choke him to go with. I think he'll ground and pound Lewis. Lewis not moving. He'll lock in a Rene could choke in round one. Yeah, I hope Lewis wins though. I really do. I want Lewis back in the in the picture again. I really do. Because he lost to Pavlovich. Lost to Tuivasa. Lost to Gon. Beat Darkus, Which is a decent win. But... I don't know, man. I'm trying to see him back in. If he loses this one, he's done. That's it. It's over. Lewis is done. Three in a row now. But we'll see. We'll see if he does good here. Uh, he could win it. Honestly, Spivak ain't good on the feet. Has a decent chin, let's be real, yeah. But to be fair, he does have a decent chin. But does he really? Walt Harris put him out. Tom Aspinall put him out. But again, people don't realize this. He took both of those sides. Both Aspinall and the uh, Harris fight on short notice. And the Harris fight was way back when he was young, 23 or something. So, well, uh, for Derek Lewis, I think, will lose. Get out grappled. Think about getting KO'd too much and then get taken down. DC took him down. And, yeah, I think Spivak gets it done. But Spivak has good cardio. He finished, uh, who did he finish in the third? He finished Sakai in the third round, I want to say. Late second round. He has decent cardio for... A heavyweight as well, so if he gets to deep waters, I think Spivak can melt him there. Plus, Spivak has decent boxing fundamentals, but does get clipped here and there, so it's 50 50. It depends. If Lewis is a massive underdog, I'm taking it, but I think 60 to 40% in favor of Sergey Spivak. I think he'll get the job done, but it's, it's even. It's even. I think another Sergey will beat Lewis. Sad for Lewis. Moving on, though, to some fight alerts. Fight news alerts, which is... um, I'm gonna, I mean, I, you just saw it. 
Where's Big Marcel? Okay, here. Um, Chris Curtis versus Joaquin Buckley. Interesting one, yeah. I really like this fight. It's for UFC 282. That card is the December card, I, really, I want to say. Yeah, the UFC 282 card. That card is um, is looking great right now. Looking phenomenal. I mean, that card has Santiago Ponzinibbio versus Robbie Lawler. Darren Till, Drickus Duplessis. Jarzinho, Rosenstruck, Tr- uh, Chris Dawkins. Now they have Curtis Buckley. Of course, they have the... Three fights underneath as well. Shabazi and Lungibula. Quarantilla Hernandez. Silva Brown. But yeah, this is a great fight. Um, Curtis versus Buckley. This is a great fight. A lot of people are picking Curtis. I think Buckley wins it, man. I'm going Joaquin Buckley here. He's going to be an underdog. He's going to be 100% an underdog here. 100%. Buckley, I think, gets this, man. And I'm going to tell you why, but I want to see what the comments are saying. How about you saying Curtis ranked number 15? They don't. Damn, they really want to get Buckley in the rankings. Um, Curtis will make it look easy, sadly. Buckley for the win. Buckley decision. Why Buckley fights so frequently? Yeah, fight of the year potentially. I think this is a great fight. A lot of people say banger and fire emojis, but I think Buckley's going to get this one done, man. I really do. Curtis is good. I understand. He has good body shots. Oh shoot, I dropped my phone by accident. Um he does have he does have good body shots here now. I completely understand. He does have good body shots. But But Buckley has good cardio. And I think Curtis is being kind of no offense dumb people he's fought. Like yeah, he beat uh, Rodolfo Vieira, but competitive fight on the feet. Vieira, we're talking about. Vieira. And Allen. Yeah, he beat Allen, but Phil Hawes was whooping him on the feet pretty easily. Really. And I think Buckley. Yeah, Curtis lost to Hermanson. That's not a bad loss. He took on short notice, but he got rocked badly by Hermanson in round two. People don't remember. Like, if you don't remember, you got rocked badly. Hermanson went for stupid elbows. Dumb IQ from from Hermanson. He could have got the finish. But I think Curtis will lose this one, man. Get KO'd. Maybe he'll land some good shots. And Buckley, you can say maybe his chinny. But Buckley showed a great chin against Nasruddin Amavov. Nasruddin Amavov there. And he took shots off Abdul Razak al Like, yeah, he got KO'd by Holland. But that's only why he's got KO'd by, you know? Took shots off right. He's good. He's a very good fighter, Buckley. And I think Chris Curtis is good as well. I think they're both underrated. But I think I'm gonna go Buckley here, man. He's gonna be an under he's gonna be an underdog, one hundred percent. And Buckley he's younger as well. Twenty eight. Curtis is thirty five. And yeah, I think Buckley gets this one done. KO in the first round. Uh yeah. Other news though. Mr. Five gets a new opponent. Yamato Nish- Nishikawa. I'm probably gonna go Mr. Five. I don't know much about the other guy. We'll see though. We'll see what happens with that. And yeah, that's basically all it. Oh, Neil Magny versus Daniel Rodriguez. Yeah, I was gonna make a short clip fit of this, but YouTube just didn't let me post it, so I'm like, screw this. But um good for Rodriguez. Staying active against Magny. <sighs> He's not gonna win against Magny though. I think Magny gets this, man. I, I really do. A lot of people are probably going to pick D-Rod, but D-Rod didn't win against Lee Jing Liang, so he's getting the step up for robbing someone else who should get the step up. I know, I understand Lee lost to Magny before, but Lee should get a step up against someone else. I got maybe Chiesa or something like that. Um, or Liu Kei. But D-Rod, I think he... I think he's going to lose this, man. I think he's trying to come back too quick. Like, I understand he's good in that, and he didn't take much damage against uh, Li Jing Liang. But I think he's trying to come back, trying to get a step up, make his career come down. I think I think he's going to teach him the ropes here. And out grapple him for three rounds. D-Rod has really pretty bad takedown defense, if you ask me. I mean, Kevin Lee took him down, but I know it's Kevin Lee, but um, an old, uh, a lot of other various guys take him uh I've took him down. 
And D-Rod, he's just bad taking, he's just bad defensively. Good power in that, but I don't see him winning this one. And I think to beat Magni, you kind of have to out-grapple him. And I understand Ponzinibbio killed Magni, but that was in the later rounds. And I think Ponzinibbio has more power than D-Rod. And yeah, on the feet, I don't see Magni doing much, but I think Magni will win the first two rounds. And yeah, he didn't look good against Shavcat, but that's Shavcat. You know, so if I don't see a first round KO here for D-Rod, last two rounds, Magni, 29-28. And yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Yeah, Darkest Rosenstrike rebooked. I'm probably going to go Rosenstrike. And yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is an MMA news reaction. And yeah.